For three years, my mother has been living in Uganda, serving the women of Hoima. This one is for the cold. Egg yeah. huh? mm -hmm. She also saw how important bicycles are for transportation. And she also saw a real need for a better bicycle design. She would get around town using Boda Boda. She didn't have a car and uh, she got rides frequently from uh, Jeffrey. So this is me, Jeffrey Kusima, chairperson for my United Rider Association. Jeffrey is a husband and a new father to a baby girl. They live in a small mud thatched hut with a steel roof, no running water or electricity. Okay. Okay. And then this, what about this house? They hold the next part. Okay. Like many Ugandans, they grow their own food. However, for income, Jeffrey rides a bike for a living. How much would you charge for a ride on a bicycle or a, s a motorcycle? Then when we start from 200, 300, the bike 200, bicycle. I motor, a, a motorcycle 500, uh -huh. within, uh, within yeah, town. Yeah. Yeah. And so how many deliveries would you do in, in a day? How many passengers? It I depends. Can't that mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just as many as you can. Just see God giving you then you. Yeah. You thank him for that. Okay. You can then end the whole day without getting even two or three a Just sometimes two or three a day. It's just good if you tell me that. Do you ever have to deliver goods like uh yes. and and we carry boxes, boxes and and sacks of charcoal, water, water, water everything. Water, water, everything, whatever. You know. Yes. What's the uh, largest thing you ever carry? A hundred. A hundred kilograms? But this way, yeah. you, can, you can carry a sack of poso, sack of rice, rice. weighing that program. Yeah. Sack of rice? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Weighs like how much? Rice is now this place you can carry like like something like four bags of cement. Four that bags is, of cement? Yes, yeah. that is 150 kilograms. Plus you. That's 100 kilograms? 150. 150? Oh, okay. Yeah. So each bag is 50 yeah. and you can put because they can put three, three bags? Yes. Three bags. Wow. Like you want. They are riding these ancient bikes called the Hero Roadster. The design can be traced back to the 1920s. Originally, British government issue military bicycles brought to India during British colonialism. And now the same bicycle design has been manufactured there since 1956. Bicycles are an important tool for Africa. They carry goods, they can carry people, and if you own one, you have a business. How can we design a bike for Ugandans? It's not just a, a, a leftover hand-me-down design from the British or, or, or the US, but a real design that's intended for their use and for their purposes. This is Mark Harden riding a hero bicycle. He came to Uganda with me as an assistant in a cameraman. There's a spring down here that pinches your butt and it hurts. Oh. It's unreliable, it's heavy, the brakes barely work, it's always falling apart, it's geared too high, and there's only one size available, and that's too big for most Africans. So here's the wrench that comes with the Hero, and it's supposed to fit all of the bolts on the bike. Now, that would be great if it fit. And if you go to every bolt on here, they're all a little bit different. So what are the, what are the main problems that you have with this? This gap here, right? It is allowing dust, water, yes. and I do it Right, and then the bearings start to go. Yes, yes, yes. yes. When you take the wheel off, you ha you have to take the brake pads off, right? Yes, yes. But so the bearings here, they start to wear out. So how long does it take them to, for them to wear out? It depends. A few months. A few months. Okay. And what if your frame breaks 
Is there someone in town that can weld? Yes, yes. I think the only reason people buy this is because it's the cheapest and there's spare parts. You might appreciate its history. Uh, and, and it was a good design 80 years ago, but uh, the Model T was a good design too. As a former full-time bicycle messenger, I know what it's like to deliver things all day in all weather for very little money. I put together a drawing and description and emailed it off to Uganda. My mother would print out the drawings and invite the Boda Boda out to lunch. There she would show them the drawings and get their impressions. They would send back comments and I would make revisions and send a new drawing back to them. And after a few iterations of this, we decided on a design. You can only do so much on paper, but now it's time to try it out. The idea was to move the rear wheel back and integrate the lower rack into the frame, making it larger, stronger, lighter, and more useful. I had test ridden the bike for about 100 miles in different terrain, but the real test was to bring it to Africa and have the Ugandans ride it. With funding from Western, I planned the trip to Uganda to bring the prototype there, to see the Boda Boda ride it, and get their reactions. I was a bit nervous about what they would think. Forever.